In this video, I'm going to show you five incredible tools that will enable you to enhance your communication skills using OneNote to activate and also to address math problems. And this ranges from different steps. Like for example, one, we're going to be looking at how you can use ink, of course, to write down an equation. Next is to be able to activate that particular ink and transform it into a specific text format and next step is how you'll be able to use this text format to generate an answer to that particular question and these answers of course you might be curious how would they get these answers to determine the answers here are the steps that are not written by me but of course written by one note software and how you're going to be able to get these three methods and some particular math problems indeed have multiple types of methods and depending on what particular math problem is you'll be able to come up with maybe one two or three or more methods and so here are the methods that will be generated using the OneNote software which is incredible to have and next is how you're going to be able to create a graph format for not only that equation but in any form of math questions or problems that you want to present to the class like for example having your y and x axis you have your grid you have your lines and all these are really incredible to assess and present to any math community of your choice and finally here is what if we don't have a particular tool that will transform your ink to a math format this here you can actually input your equation without using that particular ink format so how we're going to be able to type in an equation that is what we're going to address in this particular video so let's jump right into all the fives now the first skill to achieve is ink form and now when you are on one note we have this particular question that we want to write down on one note and this equation is this case systems of equation and we want to solve what is the x and the y value so in this case what we're going to do is go to draw and once you click on draw we're going to have this ink that is going to be revealed different types of colors i love colors so i'm going to pick for a start blue and so once i have blue i can now begin with the input of this information right in this space and so what i'm going to do is type the following we have here 10 x and this you're going to add 4 y and this is equal to negative 1 and this here i'm going to change the ink of course to a different color and we're going to type the other equation which is 8x minus 2y equals 7. so these are a couple of things that are really cool in here not only in terms of drawing you can also activate this ink to shape and if you're drawing a shape you can indeed transform the ink that you just used to a specific shape using this one note algorithm but in this case i have my equation already written now and what i'm going to do next is the following how am i going to transform this into a math text format and so the next step here which is the skill number two is transforming ink to text and to do that there are a couple of ways to do it one is by highlighting everything here that you've written down you can go one to insert and click on math or you can go to draw of course and have your math icon clicked right there so whichever one is easily accessible to use go for it so in this case, I'm going to click here and you go to watch out what happens on the right side of your one note screen and once I click on that we see this that is generated now here is a little bit of a problem we see that x is to the exponent of positive 4 multiplied by y which is not what we want we want this to be the way it is right here 10x plus 4y so we have to make changes to this section of our equation now what we can do is go back 
and change it but be selective please don't clean off everything so what we're going to do is go back here go to change this by erasing it and we're going to erase uh, in this case positive 4 and we are going to write it a little bit lower down so that we'll be able to have it you know in the right addition method step so we're going to have plus 4 and let's see what happens when we highlight everything and transform this to math and voila we actually got the right equation going from ink to math actually and changing it indeed helps you to be able to get in the right result that you want and so what we're going to do is instead of we directly transforming this into the math text format what i'm going to do is you know i'm going to copy everything first and paste it so that you can see the before and after so ctrl c and we're going to do ctrl v and so once i go in here we are going to transform this into a math format and this is what we're going to transform right away and so this here is our text and if you want to change the size of your front you can go in here go down to 48 and we have this to be generated right over here and so this here is what our software OneNote is going to use to select various actions that we're going to do right over here another interesting thing i just discovered here is when you have this right here and you want to change it or fix it like for example what we have and we fix it by clicking on this icon this is what we see when we highlight everything here we have a couple of suggested equations that are provided by this software whichever one that you think might be you know great or aligns really well with the one of your choice you can go for it like for example right we have here this one kind of looks really interesting to me i think and so if this is the one that you want to go with this is how it is and you just click on done and you can transform this into ink and text but you know what this is not what we are going to go into we're not going to do this particular problem solving no to solve what the answer for this particular equation is because it doesn't make sense how can you have double equal signs that doesn't make sense at all but you know what this is just something to be aware of in terms of what it means when it comes to fix it and that will be really relevant when you have your x to the power of positive 4 and you want to transform or fix it back to 10x plus 4y so this leads us to our third math skill